Welcome to Hamazushi. I'm Eric Sir Six, and this is Mayor Brain 600. And it's time for some sushi. Let's get some. Order yourself some stuff, Mega. I am starving. This looks okay. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, yeah. And it talks to you. I like that. Well, I hear the express belt. Of, oh, oh. This is like a train station here. It's like they've got two belts, one on the bottom right there, and there's a belt on the top. Here's ours. I guess it's not ours. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like we're in a butcher shop. What is this? <laughs> what is that that you ordered? What it's is that? Duck meat. Duck meat. Nice. Gorgeous looking. Sushi's not just fish anymore, eh? <laughs> Okay, let's get ready to eat here. Let me show you the show you. There's a lot of show you. Four bottles of show you here. No, a couple different types of show you. That's the show you, right? Yeah. Okay. Two different types. What's the difference? That one's kombu show you. Kombu. And this one is a thick show you. Thick. So kombu is like a seaweed, right? Yeah. Oh goodness. Okay, and what's this big bottle here? Dashi. That's, for, that's a soup stock? Ooh, what do we have there? This one's Nodoguro. I'm gonna go for the stronger show you. Yeah? Oh, what's that? That's the sea eel, right? Yeah. Anago? Anago. Nice. Okay, do we have wasabi somewhere? Wasabi, where's the wasabi? <laughs> it's in these little packets. Oh yeah. I'm gonna hit the salmon first. Can we get a close up of that? Salmon. You want wasabi, Mega? Yeah. Not that much though, right? Not that much. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Mega is in charge of the tea, the green tea. And that is complimentary. You can have as much as you want. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right. Where are we gonna start? Let's start with this rare one. Okay. Noto what? Noto Guro. Noto Guro. I'll have to look that up for the English because I have no idea. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so far. <laughs> oh my God, that's salty. <laughs> I'm really salty. It's the shoyu. You think? Yeah. I put too much shoyu? Because it's the... Uh, I use the rich yeah. shoyu. Ah, all right, I'm gonna switch to the southern one then. The salmon is calling me. And I've already put the strong shoyu on this one, so it's gonna be salty again, sorry. <laughs> Salmon. It is the best. Mm. Wow. So far, so good, Hamazushi. Pretty good. Well, wow. I believe this is the first time we've done a video at this place, I think. But basically, it's a family sushi place, a so bargain sushi. It's not too expensive, right? Yeah. We'll let you know what the price is for everything if you want to check it out. <laughs> All right, duck meat. I think this is a first for a sushi joint, duck meat. Looks gorgeous. Do you put anything on this or? I'm not sure. Cause you've got some seasonings over there too. What do you got? Let's check out the seasonings over here. This one is shichimi. So seven spice. Black pepper. I would like some black pepper on mine, please. Okay. Duck and black pepper. Hit me. That's good, that's good, that's good. 
and there's salt. Okay, it's nice. What do you think, one bite or two? This Can you do it in one bite? It's a good piece of, <laughs> good volume. That is interesting. Again, salty. Tasting a lot of salt. <laughs> nice though. I like the presentation. Yeah. Thinly sliced duck. Very nice. All right, so this is the CEO or Anago and we're gonna hit it with the sauce, aren't we? Go ahead. I'm wounded. It's two pieces of rice, so we can just split it in the middle. Yeah? Okay. It comes with a different type of wasabi. Okay. That's delicious. What do you think? It's delicious. Wow. Let's order some more of that. Oh my goodness. It's so soft. That, and flavorful too. Yeah. That might be the best sea eel I've ever had. Served kind of warm, so it's cooked. Very nice. What do we have here? Oh, that's the pickled ginger. Gotti, it's called. Let's definitely get some of that. Complimentary. You like the pickled ginger? No. No. I love it. Ooh, oh, what do we have here? This is the squid tempura. Squid? Oh, this is a first. Nice. What's next? This is the maguro. Oh, okay. In the time. And... Wagyu. Wagyu! Oh, it's roll sushi. Interesting, huh? Hamburger. That's cute. Very cute. Cool. Like chunks of meat inside a roll. Okay. Ooh, they're coming out fast now. Yeah. Love me some onion salmon. Okay. Oh, what's that? We got some waters. It's There's more here. coming. Oh my goodness. This is tuna and corn. Nice. All right, are we ready to feast? <laughs> yes, we are. Okay, so that first little, that was just the appetizer round. Now this is the main course. They got dessert here too? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll do a dessert round. And if we're still hungry, then we'll eat more. <laughs> so where are you gonna start? Let's start with the squid tempura. Good, 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 because this is a hot one. Yeah. We need to put some sort of uh, sauce on this? This one. Okay. Wanna guys smell? Hit me. Both my hands are full. Go, oh, saucy. Squid, right? Yeah. This is definitely a first. Definitely a first. Pretty good sized sushi too, because it's it's a bit of a challenge to get one bite into your mouth. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. Yeah. I wasn't expecting much from cooked squid. I'd rather have it raw, but that looks delicious, tempura style. I'd recommend it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do, I'm gonna do some gutty here. And the purpose of the gadi is to, uh, what is it? To put something sour in your mouth. So you can neutralize the, uh, the flavors, I guess, right? Yeah. Start fresh. So let's do the wagyu next. Miss, I think we should just eat these as is, right? Yeah. 
Okay. Mm. It's very tender. What is that? It's like roast beef to me. Yeah, kind of. It's similar. Oh. Wow, I mean, it's Japanese beef. It's got pepper on it. It's good. I mean, it's tender. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Something different about it, though. It smells, yeah. it smells like cat food, I want to say. <laughs> it's a, there's a little smell to it. Yeah. Mm. Okay, your choice. I'm definitely going to neutralize. <laughs> Next one the is palette. the maguro. Okay. And this one, hit this with the shoyu. Yeah. This is the weak shoyu. No, that's the... That's a strong one? Yeah. This one? That one's good. Okay. Kombu. Seaweed soy. Yeah, look, you can tell it's it's weak. It comes out like water. Okay. Soy sauce. Ah, uh, so different types of soy sauce in Japan. Maguro. Tuna, eh? Is it, is it tutoro or just the regular? It's the regular. Regular, okay. Wow, that is soft. Are you sure? Tutoro. Oh, tutoro. <laughs> it is, it's the medium fatty tuna. Yeah. The price for that's a little bit higher than the rest of them, I think. Yeah. Okay. That's tasty. Okay. Moving on. Next one's a weird one. It's corn and tuna mixed together. So corn and tuna roll. Have you had this before? No. I mean, to me, corn is, is a little bit weird on sushi, for sushi, but if you're used to it, corn and mayonnaise. It's all right. Hmm. What do you think? All right. Oh. Let's do that. Let's do that one right away. Got to do this one while it's fresh. This is called shirako, right? Yeah. Which is loosely translates as fish guts, like the, the yeah that the reproductive area, I think, or something, right? Have you ever had this before? No. That's why we're here. New experiences. Uh, and he immediately <laughs> douses it, <laughs> drenches it, and show you. Of course. To be honest, there's not much flavor. It's it's creamy goodness. Just think creamy goodness, like ice cream. Oh, that was a bad idea. Who ordered that? You okay? No. I should have put the should have put the heavy yeah. sauce, soy sauce on it. Mm. 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 You gotta chew for a long time. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Done. Uh. Pickled garlic, pickled garlic, pickled ginger to the rescue. Mm. 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 All better. <laughs> okay. What else have we got? Let's do this one. Is this also squid? Yeah. Okay, so this is the raw squid. And it comes, it looks like, with some serious spice on top of it, doesn't it? Looks spicy. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to try to divide up the spice on top equally. You're just making a big mess. It <laughs> doesn't really matter. And there's onions on here as well too, right? Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. The raw squid. 
Chili oil on top. Wow. Mmm. 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 Delicious. I think those go together really well. Yeah. That is a good one. Way to go, Hamazushi. I like that. Chili oil. And then the chili flakes. Kind of there's a bit of a crunch to it. Very nice. This here is salmon take two. It's got the onions and a dab of mayonnaise on it as well too. Show you. <laughs> Heavy or weak? Weak. Weak? This one, right? Yeah. Gimme. I would say this is my favorite way to eat salmon. What do you think? I mean, if you're gonna eat salmon, what's your favorite way to eat it? Because there's a lot of ways to eat salmon in Japan. Even I like sushi places. I like the salmon and cheese. Cheese? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like the salmon and onions <laughs> with the mayonnaise. And the fatty salmon is good too, the kind of high grade. Tuna is nice as well, too. I'm gonna eat both of these. What is it about sushi that's just so amazing? Like every piece you put in your mouth is a different experience. That's the, that's the great thing about going to sushi places. You can try so much different stuff, don't you think? Yeah. And they're always switching up their menus, adding new things. And it's cheap. And it's cheap, yeah, good point. It's definitely good value. The Kaiten sushi ones, the ones that have a conveyor belt, is generally referred to as bargain sushi or family style sushi. But the quality's still there, I think. I've never been to a place where it's been lousy. Maybe just once. That video's up somewhere, buried. You know, I won't say the name of the place. <laughs> okay, and what have we got here, Mega? I think it's a ham, ham roll sushi. Oh, it's okay, it is. Yeah, there's a roll underneath there. So this is maki style, right? What's inside it? I mean, it's ham on, on top, right? It's a cured ham, but yeah. we'll let you know. All right, you pull on that piece, I'll pull on this piece. Let's <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> you, you didn't get, I got all the ham. <laughs> okay, now you have all the ham. So that's, there's crab and crab and cucumber. <laughs> Cured ham on top. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> Interesting combo. <laughs> nice. The ham's really good. I'm tasting mostly the ham. Me too. It's salty. Ta -da. Oh, what is that? This is chawamushi. Chawamushi, which is what? Egg pudding, I guess? Woo, smells good. So, Mega, are you a fan of chawamushi? Yes, I am. You are? I am not such a big fan. I can eat it, but it's a basically it's a flavorless pudding. It looks amazing, but there's not much taste, right? What do you think? But it's good. Did you grow up with that? What flavor do you taste? Like tofu, right? It's like it's like tofu. It's not tofu, but what do you think? I think it tastes like nothing. <laughs> But what? They're, the translation is like an it's an egg custard. Egg pudding, maybe? Pudding, yeah, but I mean there's no sugar in it whatsoever. <laughs> right? It's, it's a little bit salty. A little bit salty, yeah. And then but the bonus is that there's stuff inside it that like there you got a mushroom, 
sometimes there's little bits of meat, shrimp, you know, I mean, it's, it's a mystery as to what's gonna be inside it. I like it. Mostly just mushrooms in mine. A little bit of meat, oh, is that salmon? It's salmon, I think. Sometimes you get the, you know, the ginan, the ginkgo tree nut. Yeah. That's, those are the best. Yeah, anyway. Flavorless pudding. Wait, this has got flavor. Salty, is that what you said? Salty? A little bit. I think I'm developing a taste for it. Okay, it's a salty custard. Wasabi. Okay, ready? Yes wasabi, no wasabi. No wasabi. Let's fight over it. Oh, it's lit, yo. It's lit. <laughs> Booty. That's a good one. And a reasonable one, it's not very expensive. Again, we'll put the prices down below. We're not really sure, because he's been ordering everything. <laughs> What's next, Mega? Next is the crab brains. Did you say crab brains? Yeah, because like the legs and the body are delicious, right? Oh, and dessert also we got. Just arrived. Oh yeah, looking good. But crab brains is first. Then I'll lose my appetite and not be able to eat that. <laughs> okay, ready? This is not one of my favorite ones. I love crab meat if it's mixed with this crab meat. And the kani miso together are okay, but this alone is <laughs> overpowering, typically. <laughs> the pickled ginger. Okay. That was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> and tell them whose idea that was, Mega. <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. Well, now I don't feel so bad for making you eat the, uh, the fish guts. Yeah. Speaking of things that are like guts, this is super extra slimy okra. And you, typically you don't eat vegetables anyway, right? So this is vegetables to the worst times three. Show you, that might help it. And you know, I didn't used to like this stuff either, but somehow acquired a taste for it. Oh, sorry. That was a mistake. It's like okayu. So the rice becomes wet and nasty. Not my cup of tea. You all right? No. <sighs> Pickled ginger is a lifesaver. And you don't even like this stuff. 
I know. <laughs> oh. But it totally gets rid of the flavor of whatever you just ate. Yeah. Agree? So, there you go. That's our advice tip today. Advice tip. That's kind of those two words mean the same thing, don't they? It's a double, <laughs> it's double advice. It's a double tip that you definitely got to have the pickled ginger after you eat something that doesn't feel good in your mouth. Did I explain that okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we finally arrived at dessert. And let's get into this right away before the camera overheats again and we have a problem. Which is which? That's yours? This is mine. And um, this is called uh, spaghetti. What is it? It's, a, it's an Italian dish. It's a, so this is called mumbran, right? Yeah. I'm not sure what country it comes from. It doesn't come from Japan. It's like a chocolate mousse, if you will. Do you like some on your ice cream? Yeah. Say yes. <laughs> oh, this is good. Mm. Oh, there's cake too. Cake and there's some chocolate syrup in there. This is really nice. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Chocolate syrup in there. Delicious. And how's that vanilla ice cream working for you? It's good. It's good with the one button on or not? It's actually good. Good, you can have all of it. Because <laughs> it's too sweet for me. There you go. <laughs> good job. All right, it's. Time for dessert number two. I'm having chicken bones. And what have you got? I got the shrimp tempura. Ooh, good choice. You gonna put some sauce on that? Yeah. Okay. Chicken bones. Actually, it's chicken cartilage. It's called nankotsu. So it's a soft bone like cartilage is. Going in, both of us. At the same, those are stuck together. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. So it's hard and it's soft together. And then you have this beautiful coating on the outside. And I say this often, but Japanese food is all about texture. Yeah. This has definitely got the texture. It's got the soft, got a little bit of meat, and then there's the cartilage, which is kind of soft bone, and then the delicious breading on it. Mm. If you have bad teeth, don't order this. <laughs> I'm having some dental work done on the right side, so I'm chewing this on the inside, on the left side of my mouth. TMI. I thought you were going to share that with me. No. Do you like nankotsu? I don't. You don't? Okay, fair enough. So, there it was, ladies and gentlemen. Hamazushi. You're still chewing, so I will go ahead first and rank this meal. My ranking on one to six of the Arakets today is going to be... Oh wait, let's talk about the sushi first. I think it's all really fresh. Good taste, good value. And my favorite one today was, I can't remember we ate so many. I mean, look at how many <laughs> do we eat here? It's like, how many plates is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 3 34. 34 of these guys. Uh, so 34 plates. What was your favorite? The salmon. The salmon. Which which salmon? You, uh, didn't, you didn't get to try your cheese salmon, did you? No. Which which salmon? The, just the regular? Just the regular one. Huh. 
right. I'm going to say my favorite one was the uh, the duck. Perhaps. And yeah, that was good. The duck was really interesting just because it was it was different to have it sliced so thin and it very interesting, different kind of taste than I've ever had before. So I'll rate first today. <laughs> now you rate first. I'm Almost gonna... rate at the same time. Okay. Okay, here comes the rating. Ready? Rating is five and a six, huh? Okay. So you talk. What happens when we, we do a six? We do a giveaway. A giveaway. And what do we give away? Get some flat snack packs. Get some snack packs, that's right. Before the snack packs used to be what was called a flat pack. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Way back when. When he was a little kid and on the channel. So we are assembling snack packs today, like as we speak. We were on a shopping trip today and we got hungry and decided to stop here. We weren't even going to make a food video and then we just did with the GoPro. So it's the first time with the GoPro and the camera overheated once. But the file was saved. Um, unbelievable, the file was saved. I thought we lost a 16 minute file, but we didn't. So three of the get some snack packs. That is the giveaway. The only thing you guys need to do is leave a comment down below and you will automatically be entered for your chance to win. We'll announce three winners in the very next er, meal time in the video description. So good luck, everybody. Anything else you need to say? Get some. Get some. Eric and Mega out of here.